In this lesson, I am going to solve uh, exercise 3b of uh, D2 7th edition and I am going to solve question number, uh, well that is 3, that is related to factorization from intermediate level and uh, I start from part A and part A is question number 3, well as I told you this is exercise 3b, well this is D2 7th edition, okay. No question? Uh, 3 part A is uh, you, basically you have to factorize factorize uh, each of the following expressions completely uh, you need to make the factors of minus a square plus 2a plus 35 well, we have uh, different methods for this one but uh, uh, what, what I feel better is that uh, this a square uh, if it is positive, uh, if you can make it positive, that will be a better idea. You now take out this minus outside and inside the bracket put a square. Now when you will take out uh, minus sign, this plus will be converted into minus, this plus into minus. That is a rule. Taking out the minus will change the signs of all of these terms. Uh, and, and I have I have done the same. No, I am going to perform factorization within the brackets. Well, uh, 35. Well, 35, if you look at 35, the factors are 1, 5, 7, 35. Okay. Uh, the factors mean uh, those numbers uh, which can divide 35 perfectly. Uh, the answer should be a whole number right so all these numbers uh, can divide 35 uh, and why 35 uh, I have one here with a square uh, so basically uh, this constant and the coefficient of uh, a square no they are basically multiplied 35 and 1 the answer is 35 and we uh, we, we basically write down the factors of 35 and from these factors from from the factors of 35 we need two of them we need two of them uh, but there is a condition obviously obviously the two factors of 35 like 5 and 7 they will they will be multiplied and you can get 35 the condition is that uh, either if they are added or they are subtracted uh, you have to get your midterm. You have to get your midterm. And the midterm here is 2, 2a with the sign of negative. So, so I, I think the, they can work. They can work uh, 5 and 7 because if you subtract them, you can get the middle one, this one. Uh, so, I can write here a square. Now, while writing, uh, while writing uh, uh, these factors, you have to be careful because uh, we have a negative sign over here. And in order to in order to have the negative sign, uh, you must write negative with the with the bigger number out of these two, which you are selecting. I am selecting five and seven because their subtraction gives me two, and because minus sign is required, so bigger number bigger number must have negative one. That is minus seven a plus five a. Now the condition says that their their addition will give you this one yes minus 7 plus 5 is minus 2 okay that that works okay now uh, the process of factorization now starts this is midterm break uh, now from the first two you can take a uh, common uh, a is common uh, so you can write a minus 7 and from the next two uh, 5 is common uh, because 5 is over here and 5 is in the factors of 35 so 5 uh, is taken out uh, so a minus 5 uh, 7 times 35 okay so you have the factors a minus 7 and a plus 5 but uh, we have a negative sign outside we have a negative sign outside so uh, what we are going to do because this negative maybe you can write it minus 1 
uh, so I'm going to multiply this with, with this one. So minus one into a is minus a minus one into plus uh, minus one into minus seven is plus seven. Uh, so minus a plus seven and a plus five will be uh, the answer because this minus uh, is multiplied with uh, this one. So this is your answer for part number uh, a of this question. Part B, part B of the same question, question number three, uh, this one, part B. And uh, we have to factorize this one as well, minus 3B square plus 76B minus 25. Okay, following the first step, it is preferable to have a positive sign with this square term. Uh, so take out minus outside, you can write it as 3B square and when you take out minus sign, signs will be reversed inside the bracket minus 76B plus 25. Okay, up till here, uh, this is simple. Now the problem starts from where, when you have to factorize, uh, you have to go for midterm break. I mean this term, which is the middle one, this is going to break in two parts and that two parts will come from this one and this one the coefficient of b square and this constant how multiply 25 and 3 25 and 3 will give you 75 okay now uh, write down the factors of 75 well that are 1 3, maybe yes, 3, 2 times 6, 3, 5 times 15, 7 plus 5, 12, yes, 3, next 5, next uh, 15, pardon me if I miss anyone, 25, okay, and uh, 75, if I missed anyone, excuse me for that now from these factors all these numbers uh, and they, they divide 75 perfectly the answer is a whole number hmm. okay now from these from these factors these one i have to choose two choose two and those two uh, must be those uh, whose addition or subtraction uh, will give you this middle term so the idea is now quite clear these two are the best one because their addition gives me 76 and that's what i want but the problem here is that we have a negative sign with 76 so i need to put negative with 75 as well as with 1 okay now i'm going to write this minus 3b square now the middle term is going to break it is minus 75 b minus 1 b now look at here minus 75 minus 1 is minus 76 this is midterm break plus 25 that's what i want uh, no no you can pick out the common factor from the first two and from the last two from the first two three guess three uh, is common factor of both 3 as well as of 75 and B. Uh, so I am I'm left here with 3 is outside, B is outside, so I am left with 1 B and uh, 75 is basically 3 into 25. I am right, 25 into 375. So this 3 is outside now. I am left here with 25. 3 gone outside, 25. B gone outside. So this is the answer. What about this one? Okay. Don't have anything common. Don't worry. Take out one as common. So this is B. And when when you are taking out minus, then this sign is changed. So you can write it in this way. Now the answer here is one factor is my 3B minus 1. And the other one is B minus 25. But still, we have a negative sign outside. We have a negative sign outside what I can do for, for it. This is minus 1 
uh, you can multiply it with this bracket so minus 1 into 3b is minus 3b minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 one factor is this one second one is b minus 25 so this is the answer for part number b so the rest of the parts will be solved in my next lesson thank you so much